Hey, it's Breezy with episode 5 of our Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. Day 2 of me recording and I'm having to s switch up my, my recording time as you can see in the top right. I'm usually a nighttime recorder, but we have Badoo on our team who only evolves during the day. So hopefully 7.30 in the morning counts as day. It looks pretty sunny in game. And I figured out you can change the, uh, the thing in the top right by just clicking your right stick in to rotate it. So that's pretty cool. But in the last episode, we beat the first gym, so our level cap down below is also updated. And here's our team we're working with. Rosie here with the Quick Claw, level 14, has Absorb, Growth, Stun Spore, and Worry Seed, and she does not learn any moves until she evolves. So we want to evolve her as quick as possible. <laughs> Ricardo here, level 13, with Wing Attack, Double Team, Tackle, Quick Attack. Really good moveset. Roots, level 12. Low Sweep, Leer, Focus Energy, and Revenge. I love his cry. Chrissy at level 13 here with Fury Cutter, Growl, Struggle Bug, and Pound. I think she is holding the Metronome. I still have no idea how to like take advantage of that. Zuko here at level 13 with Ember, Power Up, Punch, Taunt, and Scratch. And lastly is Astra at level 12. Thundershock, Bite, Charge, and Tackle. So in today's episode, we gotta get out of this town. Make our way up toward Eterna City and the second gym. Whoops, Breezy, you got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City's the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 206, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. I'm going back to Jube Life City. Next type stop is the Eterna Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. 9. Well, who's got time to count? I'm gonna be right behind him. Apparently a lot of stuff happens between now and the second gym, so... We got a ways to go. Much like new features and stuff like that are being implemented in that time. Um, actually I saw something that I need to pick up. I've been watching a few Pokemon content creators play this game so far. We need to pick up the old rod right here. So that's gonna help us out get fishing encounters wherever. Um, we could actually get an encounter right here if we wanted to, but it would be like a Magikarp, so... Got a Wingle up there. I'm gonna leave her just in case she's a trainer. I don't want to be blown away. Because that's, that's the way to the 6th gym, I think? I want to check this building out, too. I remember if you, like, talked to one of these people... They give you new, um, apps. Memo pad doesn't really help. Jotting down notes. How does that work in this game? Since you don't really have, like, a touch screen like a DS. I kind of want to go in this building too, but it looks like it's blocked. TV station. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, breezy, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, why must you be difficult? We're approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Breezy, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. Alright, we're taking down, uh, these blue-haired goons. I really like the background. Man's got a turtwig. 
not really the best combo for this, but we are a bit over leveled. Let's take Rosie out. We'll see how uh, Rosie's friendship actually is. I did like run around the first town a lot just to try and get up her happiness. Like I was like if I'm like watching Netflix, I'll like run around town and stuff just to try and raise her happiness. Um, we're gonna Thundershock the zoo at. I want her evolved as soon as possible. At least Wormple isn't poison staining. Her twig got flinched by Astonish. Nice. The supersonic misses. Goodbye, Zubat. That was like no experience. Did we just thunder shock this guy or bite him? Hey, your defense rose, that doesn't really help me. Fights, fights resisted. Of course. Ooh, please attack, thank you. Goodbye, Team Galactic. That was a crit. Nobody leveled up. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children. This won't do. Time to retreat. The mission is a failure. What you get for ambushing the professor? You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. As Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystical power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Breezy, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with their Pokedex. Breezy, did you know that the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some unexpected Pokemon must undergo evolution too. So Breezy, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Who's this lady? Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys look awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Whew! That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's BB and I work as a system administrator in Hearthrome City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules too. Oh, we can just access our PC anywhere? You can customize your own capsule de decorations by placing stickers. Stickers on your favorite Pokeball's ball capsule and it will look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers also give you an edge in the Super Contest show, where I live in Hearthrome City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later. So how do you access the PC for me? Oh, you can just do ball capsules right there. This button. Alright. I don't really want to switch anybody out, but... I do want to go heal the poison! Alrighty, continuing on our way up this route. We need to fight this lady still. You should be a pushover. You should have like level four or six ish. She's got a Badoo! I got a Badoo too! Um. I'm just gonna switch into Chimchar. I guess I could have went into Ricardo or Starly. Chimchar evolves at level 14, right? He's, he's pretty close. We'll just Ember this guy away. 
Oh my! Feels bad. Astra grows to level 13. Yo, Zuko is so close to evolving. Oh, you're so strong. Happens. Uh, how about you? There are boulders blocked in the way inside. I think a hidden move or a poke tech, a pokey watch, would be able to break those boulders. I'm gonna beat my watch into the boulder and it'll explode. Antidote. A wild Bidoof helped out using a rock smash. Okay. Here's our encounter. We already have Zubat. Not get a Zubat. We cannot get Geodude here. Lucky, I think Psyduck might be in here. Okay. I just want the Pokeball, dang it. Rock Tomb. Alright. You can get encounters from Rock Smashing, can't you? Other than that, I just need... This is a new area, right? Please don't be Zubat. Let's go. I decided to um, just fish up a Magikarp in the Ravaged Path instead of hunting for the 2% Psyduck. So, that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> Figured it'd be a lot faster. And we got Magikarp. That took a while. I was hunting for a while, and I, then I just looked it up. Fish Pokemon, Magikarp. It is unable to swim even against slow moving currents. It always splashes about for some reason. Another female. I'm gonna go with. Evelyn. She is a hardy nature, which is neutral with swift swim and splat. Send her to a box. She'll be powerful later, but not now. We get to continue down Route 204. Where we caught, um, Badoo. Found an awakening. Let's fight these trainers. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. First aroma lady. Is that I Taylor? Tyler? We got Shinx out here we can use bite with. Oh my. I expected it to be higher than level 7. This is only an area you can get access to after the first gym. Ruby actually lived. She flinched though. Good bye. It'd be cool to get one of them. I can't say I've ever used one. Brutus to 13. Zuko to 14. It's gonna evolve. Even though I lost, I'm not as angry because it smells so nice. There we go. Zuko's gonna evolve. Nice. And we get a Monferno. I really like the evolution screen. 
Iron Fighting type now, the playful Pokemon. It uses ceilings and walls to launch aerial attacks. Its fiery tail is all but one of its weapons. Let's learn Mach Punch. Let's do it. I think we either get rid of Taunt or Scratch. Let's get rid of Scratch. Never know when Taunt might be useful. Alright, Monferno is on the layout. Let's continue on our way. This man was just like pushing me out of the way and didn't want to fight. Ugh. Bug Catcher Brandon. Man. Brandon's a terrible trainer. Just got a Cricket Tot. Um, we should use some Thunder Shocks here. Crit? Let's go. A pound. Oh man, you gotta do better than that. See you later. Got one more though. What's he gonna have? No experience. A wormpole. Oh boy. And then Ricardo. Easily wing attack this guy. Or bug catcher. Woo! Still bad for the second gym leader too. We've got we've got fire type, we've got a flying type. Ricardo's up to 14. You know what that means? I'm not gonna be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way. No. Means Starly's gonna evolve. Everybody's evolving in this episode. Nice. Got Stravia. The Starling Pokemon. Wasn't that what Starly was? Normal flying. They live in forests and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when flocks collide. Our squad's looking pretty good. We've got three evolved type, three Pokemon that are evolved already. Where's the strongest in our class? We can one shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? I hope not. Living Liz. Sent out two Pachirishu. Are there Pachirishu on this route? I know there are on the next route. Oh man, I want a Pachirishu for some reason. We're gonna bite, and we need to switch out Ricardo. Let's go into Rosie. Just because I'm expecting two electric attacks on that side. Quick attack instead. We poison him. And another quick attack. Get a double poison. <laughs> Rosie's good. The bite comes off. Good damage. Okay. We're gonna bite. Get we're gonna bite and get rid of the the, the weak pottery issue. Absorb the other one. You don't have electric attacks, do you? Man. Give me that health back. I expected more. One down. See if we can get rid of this pottery issue next turn. Rosie up to 15. Time to start guessing. Will Rosie evolve this level? Every time it's level, gonna level up, you're gonna wonder if it evolves. Oh, 
Oh no, I've been growled. What am I gonna do? Here comes the bite. Will the poison pick up the kill? Let's go, just barely. This growl mattered. If it was not poisoned, it would have lived. Astro to 14, Chrissy to 14. Nice. Chrissy wants to learn Absorb. I guess it's better than Growl. I'm never gonna click Absorb, I don't think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, but wait. Dude, they gave a lot of money there. That'd be something over here. The TM for Bullet Seed. We do might like that. We made it to Floroma Town. Oh, you there. And I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. So, if you've played Sword and Shield, you know what Wishing Stars are, and you get a Jirachi. I don't think I'm going to use the Jirachi. It seems a bit broken. <laughs> we'll check out his summary. He's level 5. He's not that broken. Steel Psychic. A plus defense, minus special defense nature. Yes, the gr Serene Grace, which is really good. Confusion and Wish. Maybe I should have gave him a nickname. That would have been cool to use. I wish you and his Pokemon the grandest adventures together. And if you talk to this lady, if you've played um, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I think you get Mew? Do you know about Grace Dia Flowers? Isn't that for Shaman? Explore this town a bit. Boroma Town was a base desolate place a long time ago. Look at the TV, they're just like watching the inside of the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, give me the pluck TM. I don't think I need to teach Stravia pluck. Since it's already got wing attack. We'll see here. It's not much to this town. Got anything for me? Talking about honey. Any new items? I'm here to buy. I already have net balls. Repels could be useful. Have a few. Other than that, I'm not interested. Could have bought some super potions. We'll be fine. Give me your berries. Cherry berries here and some orange berries here. Anything in here? Need some honey. Spray duck. Is that how you water the berry patches? Rost berry. No. Not crazily interested in the stickers. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers? This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. It's a pretty decent assignment, but bugging grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Um, I think we should probably heal and then continue on the route. 
kind of close to Eterna City, but it's pretty far away still. Yeah. Hey you, heal me. Let's keep going. Then we get a new route here. Route 205. And Chesto berries. This is one lum. Etcha. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. I can't even get an encounter there. You can get Valley Windworks, though. Not Friday, so we can't get Drift Blim. Drift Loon. Pretty cool. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. They're gonna give me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. Alright. One Team Galactic Pokemon. And a Glam Meow. I think Shinx can take care of it. He might have Fake Out, but... I can hope he doesn't. Glam Meow would be awesome to have. That does a lot. Well, that was, took a lot of damage, but it was a pretty easy fight. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't get to do a thing if I lock myself in here with the works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha! Huh. Not since I'm no longer the loser. Chunk. Let me in! Time to get an encounter. It's Paterishu! You guys. Alright. Uh, I don't think I would box my, my Shinx for him, but he's cool. I don't even think I can hit him. With anything. Pokeball? Oosh. Do I have status conditions? I have paralysis, but... Can you paralyze an electric type? I got Pokeballs to blow. Nice. Ricardo to 15. The Ella Squirrel Pokemon. It makes electricity with pouches in its cheeks and shoots charges from its tail. It lives atop trees. This is, um... Samantha the Pacharishu. Check out her summary. Relaxed nature plus defense minus speed. Not good. With pickup. Growl, baby doll eyes, and quick attack. Yikes. Not the world's greatest moveset. We did spill the, spill the beans that we need to go back to the flowery area. Use Chrissy for once. Don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of Cricket Tune. Good 
Enough, enough. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. Well, what do we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Okay. Two Pokemon. Now he's got a worm pole. It's bug resist bug. Kind of thing. Lily lily whoop. I'm gonna start stacking fairy cutters. We critical hit him. Okay. That works. Brutus up to 14. Bilku. Around he is. That wasn't even fair. Cricketune is busted. We even have Cricketune for the second gym. <laughs> second gym has no chance. This is what it's gonna be like, stuck as a grunt forever. Happens. What? Shinx is evolving? Didn't expect this. Was it 15 or 16? We got Luxio! Nice. The Spark Pokemon. It resets its forelegs on others to communicate. Rests with rhythmic electric, electric pulses with its claws. It's so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. He didn't even land any damage. Zubat. And you have the type advantage. Oh, he resists. We dodge! Just gotta start stacking fury cutters. Mean block. Goodbye. And Zuko gains 15. If only I had some decent Pokemon. Yeah? This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. They dropped something. And they, he took it. Give it back. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. The works key, it must be for the Valley Windworks. So of no use to me, you may as well have it. Thanks. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What were they saying? Didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? That sweet, sweet honey. He's alive without honey in a sweet smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. You mean like this tree? So in six hours I can get my encounter? Anything in here? Okay. You guys didn't help me. How much honey did you give me? Not buying a thousand dollars worth of honey. Guess I'll buy two because I accidentally pressed A a second time. That's gonna wrap up episode five. In the next episode, we'll head to the Valley Windworks. 
and we'll rescue that little girl's uh, parent. I'll see you guys later today for episode 6. See ya.